wait a second, his bug looks well thought. Let's get a closer look. Ah, he's got a couple of crabs in there. I was going to say he's only been down about 30 seconds. Half bag full of scallops. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, another dive. I'm Bailey looking into shipwreck, and today we are going scalloping. We've got a nice one in store for you today. Uh, Richard's found a humongous anchor, which we'll take a look at. But first of all, we're going to have a look at some scallops. So. Another video of us going to collect scallops. Um, everyone's different. Every seabed seems to be different, and every um, interaction with sea life seems to be different as well. So, see what we got in store on this one. Fairly deep, 35 meters. From now on, I'm trying to film in 4K, so it gives a little bit of a, a truer image to what I see on the dive. Yeah makes the experience a little bit better for you. We are skirting along the bottom of a sandbank really. Um, to our west or to my left is a load of reefs uh, scattered around. Oh, I thought up with, I don't know if that's Phil or Paul. Yeah, it could be Paul actually. There's loads of scallops around here. Just goes to prove Paul swam past here and uh, there's still some left. So I'm going to go to the left to lift my chances a little there's one to the right there and one straight below actually quite easy to see them on the seabed believe it or not yeah Paul's going to go that way I'm going to have to wait around a little bit let the sand set a little so I'm not quite sure what this long thing is here what's this that's a dead crab this is a uh, I think it's a chain from an old ship ah, a little fish black and white stripe does he come out the other side I don't think I've ever seen one of them things before. I think that's a new fish for me. Can't say I've noticed them. But I have seen loads of these things before. Poor cod. They seem to be absolutely everywhere at the moment. Which is good in a way. Low value commercial fish or no commercial fish. There's a large male still left breeding with a female. Most of the uh, most of them gone now, unfortunately. Normally follow these poor cogs, they normally take you to something cool. I've said this before on the channel. Uh, you follow little fish like this and they normally take you to a bit of shipwreck. But this time I've decided I don't want to go to 40 metres, I want to carry on up this slope. And there's plenty of scallops here in this soft sand. You know, it's all of these scallops are very clean. They're down well past where seaweed would normally grow on them. Far too deep. That's normally down to about 12, 15 meters. And down here, I don't think the sunlight can get down further enough for, to uh, sustain a bit of seaweed's life. Plenty of sea squirts, though. And another thing I've noticed, all these rocks seem to be a lot more yellow than they used to be. Seems nearly everything that grows on, on them is either orange or yellow. You can't really tell this, but I'm actually kind of pushing up this sandbank up a reef, so I'm probably coming up maybe, I don't know, a metre a minute, maybe a metre and a half a minute. So it's quite a, a nice gradual um, climb up this reef. Plenty of life down here. Leopard spotted goby just sitting there in his burrow, keeping an eye out. I've got to pick which way I'm going to go carefully. These are pretty cool. Some fan worms. So I really don't want to be swimming up this way because it goes to very rocky bottom. So I'll back out of here and see if I can go up one of the a, a different way. There's no chance of getting any scallops on that sort of ground. The only issue is I've got to swim straight back out into my dust cloud now. We're all right. If it gets too bad, I just lift myself oh, up. Hello. Oh, two minutes left, so we're starting to run out of time now. It is a fairly deep scallop dive. Not massively deep, but deep enough. But you don't actually get enough time. Planning on doing the same as I normally do. Uh, two dives, so I'm just going to try and keep some of our deco mm -hmm. down to a minimum. Plenty of small scallops up this slope. Thank <laughs> you. 
hate it when it goes like this. Visibility is down to about a foot. So the one thing you don't want to be doing in this is swimming into someone's uh, nets. So some gill nets or tangle nets. Um, they tend to get caught up if you get caught in them. Chances of there being gill nets in this location are very, very slim just because of the terrain. Pretty so often I just see a small fish which I've never seen before and I try catching up to have a look at it but it's just too quick. I think there was another one of them black and white striped ones. It looked to be like a goby of some sort but I couldn't be too sure to be honest. Surprises me, we're still getting some scallops here on these little sandy ledges. The reef seem to be standing a lot taller now, so they're uh, going to run out, I sense. There's a couple of scallops here, and a clear bottle as well. There is actually a third, third scallop there, but I only noticed it on the Edison, right next to the bowl. Oh well, that lives for another day. We're getting very close to going into deco now, so I better hurry up. There's a load of rope, a load of pop ropes all wrapped up there. I better start heading up pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to try and get up this sand slope, but I might have to just swim straight up. We'll see how we go. There's a shark pouch there, commonly known as a mermaid's purse. You can even see the um, embryo inside it, wrapped up in the, the egg sac still. Pretty cool. I like it when you can see through them. This looks weird. Just a singular stone there, quite rounded as well. Hmm. I thought it might have been my, a fisherman's anchor, the old, really old types of anchor, which is a round, round boulder with a hole through the middle of it. But I don't think it was. see-through fish not quite sure what they are yep that's time to head back to the surface we got to go we've done all right not too bad for me it's only six minutes back to surface so I know three of them are going to be my safety stop and handle that look how clean they are because they're from the a nice sandy patch on the bottom there very little seaweed on them lovely as you can tell on the surface it's not very nice again today it's annoying because it's now the end of July and we still haven't had a summer That's the second time he's bit my head, the little fuck. Stop pecked biting you. my hair! Pecked you? Yeah, he pecked my hair out, look. <laughs> Did he rip any hair out? Yeah. Stop biting everything. Watch. He bite my hair, watch. Just get my attention. Here, he, here he goes. Yeah. Go, Alistair! Oh no, I didn't tell him he can go. Pull him back, get him on the winch. <laughs> That's the blue dolphins over there, look. Where have they been? Yeah. Bit lumpy down there. Out a little. Oh, 
them up there. Crabs always look bigger on the bottom. Right, I'm gonna, uh, oh. I'm gonna trot into the tide, we boys. Need we need someone on the helm, John. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull it. She's stuck on, ain't she, mate? Uh, get you some more. Sorry, it's only, uh, it's only that. One more. Okay, one more. See so your last one. You're not on any. Oh. Pecks my head. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he. She's had five. Greedy. Uh, the dinner plate. Greedy so and so. How many feel? That's four. Four rashes are breaking, I mean, it's got like... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, me! Yeah. I've got uh, 50 dead. 50? Oh, that's not bad. I think he's beating me, but I think Paul might be in first place. With 78. 78's my guess. Thirty-five for me. How many? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Oh, it's twenty L. They're, they're small. They're small. I'll tell you why they look small because you're used up to going up the plat. Yeah. Well, I was like, those loads of them. I was like, there's loads of schools, but there wasn't actually that many. Yeah. I'm getting good at this. I said thirty-five, and I had thirty-five. To the penny. To the penny. Yeah. Jeff's bird. He doesn't like when it's rough. He's a friendly little sucker. Yeah, you can pass him. Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh. Right. Scare him away. And he's oh. the one that, as you come out, they were there. Here, have you? Here, peck you. Yeah, yeah. What's the card, mate? Yeah, and you! You! Ah! Lit my finger! <laughs> he is! <laughs> mate, he has my hair. He bites my hair. Oh. Go on, let him bite you. Let him bite your hat. He bite your hat off. <laughs> hey, yeah! Get out of it. He bites my hair and he just bit my finger. Can't blame him. I was winding him up. We don't know what happened to the sea yeah, state, Richard. Well, I've sorted out your second dive for you, JP. Yeah? Get your yeah. bag back. 40 metres, the big anchor. Oh! Yeah. Is so it tied in now? You're going to do it in about two quarter of an hour and you're going to rest. Okay, lovely. Ah. You. Ah. <laughs> it keeps packing your head. It keeps ripping my hair out, yeah. I know, it's fancy. He doesn't do it to Paul. <laughs> right, where are all the at? I know. Oh. There's a fine shot from where I'm looking at the <laughs> He had me. He yeah. did, the, the last one he had me even worse though. Oh. Put tears in my eyes. I recognise you. It's alright. No, Look, he's got my hair in his mouth. Look. 
Look at them in as well. So there's some bread in the corner. Some bread? Down, down, down. Yeah. Is that what he wants? Yeah. Is there any bacon powder in it? <laughs> Big C's coming. Here you go, Richard. See if you can get them. He fancies you. Yeah, you're going to move your head a bit closer. Oh, I'm scared. Put your, put your head against the side of the... Oh, no. He knows. I think he knows. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I think you're one of Jeffrey's babies. <laughs> Why is the boat rocking around so much, um, It's because it's mid-July and it's the middle of our summer, so the yeah, season is yeah. lovely. Yeah, and everything's happening today. You have a rest and then you can go and do the big anchor. Yeah, sounds good. I like the sound of that. I've never seen a big anchor down there. Yeah. Well, there were three pots wrapped around it, so that's why we oh. tied on. Yeah, look forward to it. So a couple more minutes, I have to have a look at my timer. Yeah, have a good break. Yeah. Good day for yachties. <laughs> And after an hour surfers interval, me and Phil are on our way down Richard's scholar bag line to have a look at this huge anchor. So it's not the first time Richard's seen it, Richard's probably seen it a dozen or so times and this time he was nice enough to tie into it. So it's at 40 metres, uh, deepish. This is going to be a bounce dive because I've only got half a tank of air. Richard's tidies uh, scallop and line onto the crab pot lines. So these crab pots are well and truly tangled up. There's three of them down here. Not bad visibility for 40 meters, decent light levels. We were told to hit the bottom and then head towards the reef and you'll see the anchor. Look at the size of this thing. Check my air because I know I'm going to be tight on air. The size of this anchor compared to Phil is absolutely massive. I mean, we've seen our fair share of big anchors, but look, Phil's the same size as one of the flukes. This must have been a monstrous ship. It's probably 10 foot long, 8 foot wide, weighing, guesstimate, ton and a half maybe, I'm not sure, but it is huge. Look at the shape of it as well, it comes down to a deep V, or could this be an angle crown anchor? An old navy style one. If it is, it should be 18 feet one long and weighing about three and a half tons. Just about work out another one trapped underneath this one. Kind of weird, like a stream anchor or a catching anchor, a lot smaller. Look at the size of this ring, you can almost swim through that. If it wasn't wrapped into the side of the reef there, you can almost see actually where the, where the anchor's been dragged into the reef and it's actually fractured chunks of the reef away. So the question is, was it a bower anchor, which normally hands on the port side, or was it a sheet anchor, which normally hung on the starboard side. If this is a sheet anchor, they're only normally used in emergencies. So, was this uh, a leeward wind pushing a navy ship onto the shore and they've dropped their sheet anchor? 
and snapped off. Check out the curve on that. It's about six inches, I reckon. Seems to be rounded rather than squared, so don't know. That might give you more information on it. Oh, what's this stuff? This is the second anchor here. Looks like someone's jacket or someone's wrapped around it. So there's another anchor actually hidden below this one. Let's see if there's anywhere on the side for catting it up against the side of the ship. So normally, sometimes they have like a D ring on it. Seems to be something under this uh, crusted bit. And there's a beer bowl. I wonder where that's just come from. That wasn't there a couple of seconds ago. Wonder how long that beer bottle actually stays there. Probably into the next tide and then it would get blown over. Three minutes bottom time. Let's check the air though. The all important air. So, was this of a Navy ship from the late 1700s? Possibly. What we need to do is come back and measure it, because if it's 18 foot one long, we then should be able to have a look on the established sizes and weights of anchors for the Royal Navy. 1763. One last goodbye to it before we go back up. If it is, it could be of a 74 gun ship. And then this is where our dive plan went wrong. Me and Phil must have misheard Richard. I think Richard was going to pull these pots up because he had uh, untangled them, but we went and untied his uh, scallop bag. Sorry, Richard. Didn't realise that. I made a fairly brisk uh, bolt for the surface while Phil took his time. Because I was running quite short on air, 60 bar. It's okay. I'm back up to 28 minutes bottom time because I've gained because I've lost the pressure and come up shallower oh perfect air consumption I'm gonna get back out of the water with 50 bar perfect and that's what we call a bounce dive to 40 meters 15 minutes there and back up and there we go perfect 50 bar left awesome let's go up Phil you can tell the surface is starting to get rougher up there just by the amount of ripples and the fact that Richard's lines going up and down quite excessively it's absolutely huge anchor one of the biggest anchors I think I've ever seen We got a fresh tank on, we're gonna go for our third dive. That last one was a bounce dive to 40 meter. I quite enjoyed that. Um, I've never ever seen that anchor before. Uh, 40 meters is quite deep. I mean, we still have down to about 45 meters on a good day. 40 meter anchor. Yeah. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Two it of is them. humongous. I like that, yeah. Didn't feel like taking all your dive gear off and swimming through the ring? <laughs> no. 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 I think my big fat belly would get stuck halfway through and I'd yeah. be stuck there. Yeah. The ring on that one was pushed up against the reef. But that must have been off a huge ship. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what it's come off right, all those years ago. I reckon it's probably some sort of navy boat or maybe a merchant. Merchant seaman, but, yeah. Yeah, imagine trying to pull that up, a ton and a half. Poor guys in hell caps, don't they? No wonder why they left it when it went to 40 metres. Yeah, so. <laughs> and you can't drag for it very well because it's right up against the reef. Yeah. It's about the wooden stock. Yeah, the stock's now gone. Rotted away. Back in for our third dip and I'm gonna fill yet again three three dips with fill. And as I'm on my way to a barbecue this afternoon, someone's asked me to give them a spider crab, so I'll pick any spider crabs up if I see them. But they are teetering out now. They tend to be uh, a lot of molters.
that's almost the end of my dive. It's amazing how fast it went. 22 minutes, almost done. I'm gonna have a little look around these reefs, try and see if there's any more hidden around along along the edges in the sand here. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. What's this piece of shipwreck at some time? I know it's a very old piece of wood. Probably not a shipwreck. Probably just something that's ripped off a boat. Or even been chopped out to sea. So, I can't see any more around here, so I think we're going to have to head up now. Yep, we'll come back another day. Almost out of air. Oh, it wasn't 22 minutes, it's been 32 minutes. Yeah, no wonder why it seemed like it's quite long. I've got to have a decent bag. Can't wait to get back down to the cafe and have a lovely coffee. Couple of crabs, lovely. Thanks for coming along with us on another dive. Uh, if you'd like to share this with your um, friends on Facebook or wherever you want to share it, please do. But I will catch you on the next tide.